Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. Welcome to my newest segment of Markets Look Ahead. It is Sunday, March 10th, 2019. This is going to be a big week, huge. And I want to put a perspective on what we can expect and what we need to keep our eyes on. It's, uh, it's pretty uh, important here. Let's, let's back up to the end of last week where we got this, I mean literally the worst piece of economic news that we've had in a while. And again, we haven't had a single, not even one, good uh, piece of economic news in months. That's the truth. Uh, this non-farms payroll number, I mean, fell off a cliff. Larry Kudlow, you know who I'm talking about here, uh, wants you to ignore that number. Ignore it, doesn't matter. But if it was a great number, believe me, he'd have you focusing on it like a laser. Uh, so, with regard to what we're going to see coming this week, we're going to get a slew of economic reports, a slew of them, and they're going to be negative. Every single one is going to be negative. They're going to try to twist it and spin it. But if you sit back, and, and we'll talk about this during the week when I do my market reports, um, they're going to be negative across the board. And how do we know that? Because that's all we've been getting is a negative report after negative report. But what does this mean? I guess that's the bigger takeaway. Well, it's pretty simple. We know exactly what's going to happen. And the setup here has been exactly what I have been outlining for you since time immemorial. These negative reports are going to force the Fed's hand yet again. It's not really a forcing. This is the grand plan. The grand plan is much bigger than I think most people understand here. Um, we'll get to that in a second. But the negative reports are going to create a euphoria in the stock market that the Fed is going to back off f from ever raising rates. Look, the market is kind of like brain dead. It's the truth. And what I mean by that is it needs more stimulus and more stimulus and more promises of suppressed rates to keep moving up because there's nowhere else for an investor uh, to get yield. It just can't happen. So that's the only, the only saving grace behind this market right now is the fakery that is going on. And with bad economic news, after more bad economic news, and I think that's what we're going to get this week, that means the Fed is going to need to keep backstopping this market. And it's the same six banks that Mnuchin met with that are propping up this market on no volume. you got to seriously be insane not to see this. But there are some that don't get it, and that's okay. They need to live in their delusional world just to stay sane, and I got it. You know, it's a coping mechanism, it's the truth. But the, the environment we're in is so twisted, it, so we know what they're going to do. So um, a lot of effort is going to go into propping up this market. We're going to get bad economic news again. Uh, the Fed is going to uh, have no choice but, again, to backstop the market. This is an election year, all right? You know that. I've covered this to the point of nauseam. That means that every effort imaginable by the administration is going to be put forth to prop up this market. That means Wall Street has to play the game. It's a game. A terrible game, but it's a game nonetheless. Um, the other thing here, um, so we got number one, bad economic reports, which we're going to get this week. That means Fed is out of the way further. The pathway for negative rates is coming. The bigger plan here, all right, there are a lot of people that are talking about a plan, okay? The real plan has been in motion for decades, all right? It's not just since President Trump took office, and there's a lot of people that believe this whole plan, but the real plan is much darker, and unfortunately, I don't care what anyone is going to say here that, are, that uh, believe in whatever they might want to believe in with regard to like Q or whatever it is. The greater plan is very simple. Uh, and I know this is going to sound like a conspiracy theory, but it's the truth. It's, it's a world domination by world banks. That's it. They want to run the show. And the pathway is getting wider and wider for them to do this here. The more cash we borrow into existence, the stronger central banks become. That's it. It's very, very simple. And every single 
World Central Bank is doing the identical things with their respective leaders. But people are too blind. People don't understand. Most people think that the Federal Reserve, believe it or not, is the only central bank. There are hundreds of them. It's the truth. But people don't get it. They think that there is some other instrument in play here that's going to make, that's going to uplift the middle class. No, no, no. The middle class barely exists anymore. They're in debt beyond their eyeballs. The more they borrow, the stronger the banks become. This is the plan. And unfortunately, it's unstoppable at this point. Can't be stopped. I don't care what you might think. This is it. This is the truth. Um, you know, look. What we needed here was um, a world leader, the President of the United States, to do what he said. To start taking away the power of the world central bank, starting with the Federal Reserve, the mother of all world central banks. Why is the Federal Reserve the mother of all world central banks? Because the U.S. dollar, and I'm laughing about this, is still the world reserve currency. If the President would have set, done what he said, which is very simple, start raising rates. I mean, he screamed from rooftops as he was a candidate about how the Fed was behind the curve, how the stock market was in a big, fat, ugly bubble because the Fed was artificially suppressing rates. This was is his words. They're gone now. If the Fed, if the President would have uh, stuck to what he said and had the Fed raise rates, yeah, the stock market would not be where it is now. But this is a mechanism that's being set up here. The larger the bubble in debt and subsequently pulling the stock market with it and other asset prices with it higher, all right, the the more the, the greater the meltdown is going to be, and the faster and greater the wealth transfer is going to be. Now, I outlined at length many times that the president should have issued some kind of a, I mean, he likes, uh, I guess, uh, you know, issuing national emergencies. Well, we have a national emergency here. It's called debt. Okay, it's the biggest national emergency that we have. Forget about the border wall. All right, this is a distraction. Look here. Look at the border wall. Look at the border wall. Don't look at debts and deficits. Don't look at what the world central banks are doing. All right, don't look at what how every world leader is is in bed with their world central banks, making sure they are lifted higher. Remember, the more debt the central banks issue, the stronger they become. That's their product. It's debt. Now, if the president would have done what I said, and I, I you know I outlined this at length. Back the currency with a fraction of gold. Any, all, any world leader that would do this would start to suck power from the world central banks. Take away their power. Their power exists in one thing. Their ability to issue debt. If we backed the currency with a fraction of gold, that would start to suck their power. No world leader will do this. None. It won't happen. Uh, I know there are bills out there that many of you are going to refer to here that the president maybe could push forth. He will not do it. He, he's doing everything he can to push the Fed higher. And it's not just our president. It's every single world leader. All these world leaders, they all talk. All the, the world central banks are owned by the same entities. I hope you can see this. I know it sounds like a grand conspiracy theory, kind of like a coke addict and another person uh, addicted to porn stars running a country. It sounds str strangely in fiction, but it's the truth. That was the last video I did. <laughs> anyway, um, but look, in all seriousness, the master plan here is pretty simple. And unless people, we would need a revolution on a grand scale to stop the wheels from turning. But what you're getting here from many YouTubers, many websites here, is the polarization, keeping you split up, okay? Um, this is why I have refused, if you notice, I have appeared on no other channels lately. I do not do interviews anymore with anyone, and I won't do it. There are some that are doing everything in their power to keep people polarized, right? That's the issue, is the polarization. You can't be polarized. That's the part, also part of the bigger plan here, all right? To keep these people here hating these people here. This is why I joke about what's going on in politics and everything else. But if you're not up the middle, 
you cannot see. You've been, you've been hoodwinked. You're completely blind. Don't allow that to happen to you. Sit back, look at the bigger picture, understand what's going on around you, and you'll have a much better perspective on what, not even what you can do anymore, people, because I think, honestly, without a revolution, a worldwide revolution against the world's central banks, and they'll squash us all like bugs. They will. Understand this, too. Um, and this is a big one that I think most people have no clue about. The United States military is the enforcement arm of the Federal Reserve. Most people don't understand the petrodollar system. I've covered this to the, to the point of nauseam as well. The, the petrodollar only exists because OPEC nations have agreed to price their oil in U.S. dollars for military protection, U.S. military protection of that oil, the petrodollar. Most members of the military do not know that. I was a freaking lieutenant in the United States Navy, okay? Most of you know that already. Uh, and most of those guys had no clue either. It's the truth. Most people are blind. They don't know. All right. Um, anyway, I know this is an awful long video, but I think I've covered some things that are really important. Lastly, the last thing that's going to come into play this week is the U.S.-China trade deal. Now, I don't know how many of you saw the article I posted this morning from Bloomberg. Uh, China's pushing back here against the narrative that things are going so well with regard to this China trade deal. It's not, they're not going well. Uh, Kudlow said we have China over a barrel. This was Friday. It's a joke. We do not have China over a barrel. China is in no rush at all to put a deal together here. So um, I don't know what he's doing over there, Larry, anymore, or any of our politicians that are trying to push the narrative that things are going well and they're tremendous because they're not. Okay, uh, so that's going to take center stage two. It's economic reports, which are going to be bad, which means the Federal Reserve is going to backstop the market, which means stocks. I'm, I have a neutral stance on stocks right now as of this moment. If you uh, are watching this on my website, traderschoice.net, you will see in the lion's corner, upper right-hand side, I have neutral. All right. We'll see tomorrow. That will might change. I was short. You all know that. I closed all my positions on Friday. Did very, very well. I will reevaluate tomorrow morning. I will change that uh, in the Lions Corner. Look, please do me a favor. Start watching my videos like this one on my website. It's the same thing. So when you get a notification from YouTube, just watch it on my website, traderschoice.net. Everything you need is there so you can beat this market. Look, I want nothing more than for you and I to understand the situation we are in without being blinded, polarized on either side. Take advantage of what's going on around us here. All we got is each other. That's it. We have to understand that. Um, and, my, and I've been saying this forever. We, we are responsible for each other as members of this freaking human race. It's the truth. You know, if you are a seriously polarized person in this environment, you probably couldn't care less if you saw uh, someone on the other political side drop dead, you know, uh, friendships have dissolved over this. Think about how, how bad this is. This is the environment we're in. Ignore it, people. Break out of the, the paradigm that they put you in, the box that they put you in. Get out of it. Choose today to get out of that box. Choose to be up the middle here. Choose to open your eyes a little bit to what's going on around you. And it'll be so simple to understand that the grand plan here is world domination by the world central banks who have got every single politician in their back pocket. I, I said this earlier. Bear with me a minute longer. I know this is getting long. Something happened here to um, our current president our current president, when he was candidate, had it right. All right, a lot of people didn't like his style. Put the style aside. Let's talk. Let's just address what he was pushing for: to reining in the Federal Reserve, to getting the Federal Reserve under control, having the Federal Reserve raise rates to deflate the big, fat, ugly bubble in the stock market. This is his words. Something happened. He got, something got to him, all right? Had to be, because I don't think he's a stupid man. 
But his mindset completely changed. And it's important to understand what's the bigger plan here. What's actually being set up. It's very ugly. It's very dark. And it's a mechanism here to eliminate the middle class on a global scale. All right, you saw what happened to the euro. Um, you know, last it was it last week when Draghi said, "Okay, QE into infinity, more more money printing, more recapitalizing of the banks." The euro plunged. That means anyone who has a euro in their pocket has to dig deeper now to buy anything. The middle class is under attack. And I mean under attack, and the middle class is being polarized and divided. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. This is how they are winning. So I'm going to urge you once again to not choose a side. Don't let them do this to you. Go right up the middle. Sit back. Ponder everything that I've said in this video. Maybe watch it twice. Think about it. Does it make sense to you what I am saying here? Is it time for people to wake up? I want to hear from you. And if you think I have covered anything in this video that is important, please share this video. If you are a member of my team, there are tens of freaking thousands of you all over this world. Please share this video. Please get it out there. Like I said, we're responsible for each other, so let's try to wake some people up, break them out of, of the situation that they have been put in, and they will be, continue to be stuffed in. Got to get out of it. It's disgusting, and it's, uh, it's anti-human. It really is. It's an anti-human race kind of thing that we're seeing here, and we got to take action. It should start with us. All right. I love all of you. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Over now.